Good morning, it's Makeup Hair Junkie Over 40 here, and I wanted to do a one month update on the wig that I'm wearing. This is the Hollywood wig by Main Attraction in the Henry Margu line. This color is Nutmeg, and you guys, this is one of my absolute favorite colors. It is so beautiful, and I get so many compliments on not just the color but the wig. Um, it is lace front, temple to temple, bendable ear tabs, and it has an extended nape. Um, this is the part. It looks very realistic. I get tons of compliments. I mean, seriously. <clears throat> and the color is blended perfectly. Um, I really like this wig, and I've been wearing it every single day for 30 days. Now, that means... To work, when I say all day, I mean all day. We're talking like 6, 7 a.m. until like 8 p.m., um, if not later. So i definitely been wearing it all day. Um, the fibers, when you first get a wig, you know, it's soft and slick and, you know, just feels great. Well, after wear and friction and environment, <laughs> as Daily Dazzle and Dawn calls it, which is perfect, um, it does the fibers feel different they get dry <clears throat> and I just washed this wig last night I shouldn't say washed it what I did is um, I got my bathroom sink full of water and I put some fabric softener in there and just soaked it for 10 minutes and then hung it inside out upside down to dry um, I did wrap it in a towel um, I lay the towel down put the wig in there wet soaking wet and then I um, roll the towel up and squeeze trying to get most of the water out and then I hung it upside down on a coat hanger in the shower inside out and uh, this morning I put it on I did comb through it after it was dry and um, with a uh, it's a, actually a wig brush it's made for wigs so I brushed that out and it's pretty good um, it's holding up pretty good it's not as nice as when I first got it but that happens to all wigs and it does get a little snarly right here at the at the nape of the neck and that's from friction um, when I drive in the car I split it in the back and put all the hair to the front so there's no hair rubbing against the seat um, but when I get home I just take my brush and brush through that you know nappy part and then I um, put it on my I use an upside down base rather than a wig a wig head um, and that's what I do um, once in a while I will like every third wear I will spray all that back with the armor all protectant spray um, I spray the inside on the back with this all back here and then I take my fingers and run through it and then I spray the inside cap with Febreze this is just a knockoff brand of Febreze and I spray all around it just a couple little quick one quick sprays and then I put it on my upside down base to dry out and I do that before bed but I only do that like every three or four wears um, I'm really impressed with this wig especially the price point um, it wasn't very expensive and I would say if I continue wearing it every day, I would say two to three months of wear. Um, I purchased it from Sister Wigs, and if you go on their website, it should tell you how long daily wear you will get out of it. And I can't remember what they they said, how long it would last. But, I mean, it's a really pretty wig. I mean, I really love it. I'm not sorry I purchased it at all. It's absolutely one of my favorite wigs. And I will... I'm definitely going to purchase another one exactly like it in the exact same color. Um, but like I said, I get tons of compliments on it. And Okay, let me give you a 360. So this is the hair all the way to the back. And this is the left side. The right side. back and it has good movement um, this right here is starting to I don't know lose its curl maybe I mean this wig wasn't really curly when I got it um, I watched Daily Dazzle and Dawn's review on this wig 
and hers looked pretty curly but you know every wig is different um the color's not going to be exact every single color in hollywood the nutmeg is not going to be exact color um the wig might be a little someone else's wig might be a little bit curlier um so that just happens i wouldn't have mind this to be a little bit curlier but it's actually pretty it, i mean it it's beautiful it has the beachy waves and when i washed it last night um, and hung it to dry I thought maybe it'd curl up a little bit and it didn't and that's fine I like I said I don't think this is a heat friendly wig um, but I don't ever use heat on my wigs hardly ever just because I might use a, a hair dryer um, you know to get some flyaways to tame but I don't put heat on the wigs because I don't have any luck with it to be honest so but this is again my opinion um, I think this wig has lasted you know I think it's 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 daily wear is is doing fine um, and like I said it does snarl on the back but every long wig does it's the friction um, with the silicone fibers but I will say that it's not too bad I've had other wigs um, like from free free trust equal um, you know it's a little bit cheaper brand um, and those will tangle up pretty bad so this one this one hasn't been too bad um, some of them, when I wear it to work, I have to go in the bathroom and actually comb them out like every couple hours. This one I don't. I don't. I don't use my comb at work or my brush or nothing. When I get home, I don't. It's just right before I go to bed, I um, brush it out with that wig brush, and that's it. So um, definitely a really good wig. I give this one a five star. <laughs> so and like I said, this is you know a little floppy. Um, I just kind of run my fingers through it and try to tame it a bit. But you know what? Perfect hair is fake. Nobody has perfect hair. The perfect ring curls and all that. I mean, if your hair is perfect, it's probably, um, a, you know, a, a sign that it's definitely a wig. I don't, I don't know. So to me, this the little flyaways and the little imperfections make it look more realistic, in my opinion. <clears throat> so anyways Hollywood in nutmeg um, go check it out and highly recommend this wig even for everyday wear um, I do have some shorter ones that I wear to work um, I just purchased the Avery and the dark amber HL and um, I will be doing a review on that I did an unboxing I think last week so but love it don't know really what else to say about it it's a it's it's a great wig. Um, you can flip the part because of the lace front, um, but I like it on this side. Now, I have tried to wear it up, and there's a couple videos. Daily Dazzle and Dawn has a couple updos on this wig. Um, I don't care to wear it up, and the reason why is because I'm self-conscious about this right here. My hair is short in the back, and... The, sometimes this will fall out of my wig cap, the little short hairs, and I'm just self-conscious. I'm afraid someone's going to see that. And I've even pulled these down a little bit, but I don't know. I just like it down, um, and that's how I wear it. So, But it, it could be put in an updo easily, or even just the sides pulled back. Um, it is very pretty. So thanks for watching, and you guys have a great day.